What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're actually going to be discussing over triggers. I thought uh, so many people talking about it these days that um, let me throw my little two cent up in there. Um, first, I would like to start off with saying that, you know, it's Bushiro. You act like they haven't printed quote unquote broken cards before. What, let's look at, oh, Ishikishima or Zazan. I mean, like, if the card, if the card is meant to be taken out the game, I think they w would be able to take it out the game. And this is not the first time that a card game has printed a card that makes the entire game completely toxic. Not that over triggers are toxic, it's just that when you check them, they can turn over a game so quickly. Um, let's get in. Let's get into a game real quick. Let's get into a game real quick. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean with a deck. So let's grab what deck has. Um, what deck has? Let's grab a Blade Master Premium. I got a couple. One ofs, four ofs, all that. So let's see what we can actually do. Can we actually get somebody there? Um, everybody is worried that oh the over triggers will make the game talk. Yada yada yada. Um guys, this game is already this game is already a little bit uh RNG. This that's in if you forget that's why you like the game in the first place. I mean like you're playing a game. You're playing a game. Um, D era. Oh, he got that update. Update. Never mind. But you're playing a game. You're playing a game where most of the time, oh, it might get to a point where it relies on RNG. Sometimes you win games because you grab a heal trigger, which is a four of in most decks. Sometimes you win because, oh, you check the draw trigger, drew into something, drew into a high shield power because on your opponent's final turn. It's it's so crazy that y'all think one simple trigger is going to stop me. The thing about one of the thing about one of is there's a very low probability of you. There's a very low probability of you getting it, especially drive checking it. Uh, let's look at this deck right here. So the only quote unquote one of one of that I have in this deck is Conro, which is my starter, so I can get that easily. And Zazan, which is a card that I can draw, that I can draw from my deck, or I can call it out with Conro. The thing about over triggers is you can't necessarily do that. You can't necessarily tune them to the top of the deck unless you get to something like ult, ultima. But let's be on, let's be honest, Chief. Let's be honest. Most of the time when you hit ultima, it's game over. Now, if you hit ultima, it's definitely game over. Your your rear guards gets that extra drive. The rear guards gets that extra drive check. Um, it's all in the matter of point of um, is it really is it really going to matter? Is it really going to matter? You're all, you're already dead. This just puts you this puts you like ten feet deeper in ground, and you disappoint you disappointed that you lost, bro. You already lost you already lost this on this. They played the Ultima. He said, oh, I would have survived. I would have got a heal trigger. No. No. Kind of. How about you? How about you draw that over trigger that they got? How about you draw that over trigger they got? Oh, wait. That still doesn't make a difference. They still, they still got that over trigger effect. Or dark. Let's go with, uh, let's talk about dark states. Dark state trigger. They need to check that early. So you telling me 
they have to check that one over trigger in the 30 plus cards that they have in a deck in order for it to be like really effective. At that point, if they don't check it, if they check it on something like they final turn, oh, look at that. You, that's just another, that's just another critical trigger effect in, um, the regular ogre trigger 100 million power. To me, that's really nothing. Um, I love the Stoikea one because it's like, it's good. It's good. There's always a benefit from it, whether it's a draw, a heal. If you get all the benefits, that's good. But if you get, there's no way you can get none of the benefits. Draw from the bottom of the deck. Uh, time to put this on cringe. Oh, snap. And here's what I'm talking about. Ooh, Zazan, you have to go, my friend. All of y'all have to go. Draw, draw, draw. Look at this. Blade Master. Drew it into my hand. Drew it, drew, drawing it to my hand when there's only four of this. It's just so funny. Draw. You just love coming to my hand, don't you, bucko? All right. Lava Flow Dragon. Shuffle, then in. Uh, so I definitely need, I definitely need to get to a certain place. Uh, this is okay. This is okay for right now. Seven stand triggers left in deck. Draw. But if y'all have a problem with it, just like I don't. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want me to say. Everything is going to be okay. I mean, like it's a card game. There are problems. If there are problems that needs to be fixed, it should be fixed. When it becomes the big problem. But right now, we don't know. Okay, y'all play test it. But Bushiro doesn't know from itself, from a tournament perspective, how the community is going to feel on it. Because at the end of the, at the end of the day, you need to test out an idea. Like Ishikishima, it was tested out. It was tested out in Japan before we banned it completely. So let Bujiro test it out. Do what they gotta do. Once it becomes a big major problem, I'm sure it will be fixed. But other than that, what you want Bushiro to do? Cater to your every single wishes? They got a company to run. You think because one person met, one person met, they gonna shut down everything? No. My opponent really thinks that limiting my counter blast is going to help them. Force two. Critical trigger. Call. Skill. Soul blast. And then they quit. And like, if you didn't want to play, don't play. All right. Um, we're going to try to get in one game. See how it turns out. Ooh, Kagero Mirror Match. I love it. Hmm. That actually gives me an idea. Actually gives me an idea. Um, I'm not... I'm actually returning these four and drawing. Perfect. Um, I'm actually going to go all in with this skill. 
adding Blade Master to the hand. Then shuffle. Dump. I shuffle the deck. Yes. So now I can go for another. Grab a Blade Master. There's nothing in my hand that I want to discard, but a Blade Master. So this is 5,000 power to each of them. I'm going to attack with Lava Flow. Attack with Lava Flow. Drive Trigger Check. And now, even if they try to hit with Overlord, I have a way to combat that. What you hidden? It's a big choice. You tired? So does he have another way? Yep. Bar? Okay. We bring him back old school, huh? No guard. Check. Let's see. Can you end your turn, please? Thank you. Stand and draw. Um, can't do anything with what I got right now, so. If you're going to waste his resources, I'm going to let him waste it. Attack. So right now I don't have, uh, don't have the resources to go straight into this. If they call, ooh, hmm. I mean, like, do what you gotta do, guy. No guard. And the second check. Can you pass the turn to me? Thank you. Send and draw. Ride force two. I'm going to discard two cards. I'll let him see. Bam. Vision token. I'm really not scared. Attack. I'm not really scared. Overlord, I attack you. First check, second check. This is the dangers of the mirror match. Oh well. Hmm. Well, I'm uh continue this game. Um. I will see you guys next time on Carfighto Vangado Extreme. They call me Kiari. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more Carfight Vanguard content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.